there and welcome back to the Message Marketing Pod. I'm your host, Christopher Melotti from Melotti Media, and this is episode 112. Coincidentally, the 12 current marketing trends that you just shouldn't miss. So in today's ever-changing world where the competitive marketing landscape keeps evolving, there's just no place for your business to be complacent. Just when you think that you're up to date with what's relevant in the market, you'll be surprised to know that there are new marketing trends shaking things up and changing the game yet again on you. So keeping up with all these marketing trends, I'll admit, isn't easy. But understanding them will enable you to effectively cater to the evolving needs of your audience and of your business. So by staying on top of the latest opportunities, threats, and shifts around your business, it's also easier for you to be more proactive with your marketing strategies, enhancing content creation, and getting your brand ahead of your competitors. So to help supercharge your success, our Malotti Media team have prepared a quick rundown of the current Australian marketing trends that you shouldn't miss. After all, knowing what's in and out of today is the first step that you need to adapt, adjust, and become better than ever with your marketing. So let's go through them. Number one, content personalization is still what people are looking for. B2B, B2C, it doesn't matter. With a lot of generic marketing out there, people are looking for genuine and authentic content that is highly targeted and personalized. That's because people want to be more than a number, don't you? So you don't want your favorite brand to treat you like a number, so you would shouldn't treat your own customers like that. So people always want to associate today with brands that are not just providing them with solutions, but are also keen to build long-term relationships. So content personalization is all about recognizing customer preferences and interests and then crafting tailored content that speaks directly to them and addresses their needs. Whether it's targeted ads, tailored emails, landing web pages, and more, we can help you create personalized content that is value adding and customer centric if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for inspiration, think more about your customer. What do they want to know? What do they want to see from you? You know, how do you want to lead the conversation? All of that will help inspire you to produce copy and content and visuals that will keep your target audiences top of mind. So number two, customer engagement metrics determine the success of marketing today. Marketing doesn't always deliver instant results, okay? Despite what you might see, it just doesn't, right? There's no hard and fast rule book for marketing. And so as a result, you can't expect to launch it and just expect that it's gonna instantly work and there's gonna be instant results. Most often, it takes a lot of time and consistent effort to generate leads or sales from a particular marketing execution. For example, people might see your social media post and then read your blog and then sign up to your newsletter and then click on a video before they finally give you a call. So the first and final touch points between those times could be days, weeks, or even months apart and worse is that it's hard to track across those channels. So for example, you might be looking at your call metrics and thinking that that's where the lead came from, but really where it came from originally was that social media post and then the blog. So how can you measure the success of your marketing today? Well, given the prominence of digital marketing and omni-channel marketing, using engagement metrics like conversion rate, average session duration and pages per session have become one of the most primary ways that marketing performance is being measured today. So tracking these numbers will enable you to evaluate what's working or not, allowing you to be more effective in allocating your resources to content and marketing campaigns that deliver better results. So if I think about Melody Media, what we do is we assess, for instance, how many people visit a new page and how many people dwell and where people go from that page. All of those insights will help us understand customer behavior, but also what has drawn the customer to those pages and what has been effective and what hasn't. So marketing trend number three, short form videos remain popular. Okay, so, and this this should come as no surprise. I mean, we're witnessing this firsthand with TikTok videos, Instagram and Facebook reels and Snapchat videos. They're dominating the world of social media right now. So if you're not producing short form videos, it's definitely time to take this up. These pieces of content are effective in capturing the fast paced attention spans of people from a wide range of demographics. They also take less time, effort and resources to create. So definitely have a look at video, short form videos especially. Short, snappy, and punchy, they will help you engage your audiences and get across your information fast. But because they are short, they need to be well written. 
And so that's what we do at Malotti Media. We write short form video scripts that help you tell the message in a fast way that gets people engaged. Because remember, when you only have 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, those kind of time limits really press you to say what you need to say fast. So short form video content might sound easy, but it isn't. You need to really get really sharp at articulating your messages very fast and also making sure like point one, that you're keeping it customer centric. So marketing trend number four, more businesses are leveraging branded audio content like this very podcast. So as you can probably imagine, people are always on the go today. And so when people are on the go, they don't always have time to use their eyes, i.e. videos and even blogs. So as a marketer, don't underestimate branded audio content to thrive in today's digital space. So if you haven't got a podcast or you haven't looked at this audio content niche, then make sure you do because branded audio content not only enables you to get your brand message out there in different ways, but it also paves the way for you to build a community of avid listeners with similar interests. So I'm hoping that all of you listening right now are doing that for me. So I'm glad you're here and thank you for listening. But this is what I'm talking about is audio content is now becoming a huge player in the marketing space. Number five, marketing trend number five is the use of first party data is growing. So what that means is first party data is a business's own data. So think about it, it consists of the information and personal details that you directly collect from your customers through your own digital channels, such as your website, social media platforms, CRM surveys and more. Typically, in the past, a lot of businesses simply relied on third-party data, which is data that has been retrieved or purchased from other forms or, or external companies. However, there's a lot of privacy issues that are arising from this and a lot of concerns around this. And so the use of first-party data, data that you collect yourself, is becoming more prominent. So, you know, aside from the fact that it tends to be more accurate and its method of collection is cheaper, first-party data is also gaining relevance today because digital advertising on third party cookies is coming to an end. And so it's important that if your business isn't collecting first party data that you should be. And then of course, using it for your own insights. All right, trend number six in marketing is protecting customers data and privacy is a top priority. So similar to what I was saying in the previous trend is that privacy and customer data is becoming so important today, but also very protected, not just by governments and laws, but also by people themselves. People are more hesitant than ever to give up their data. It doesn't matter if it's B2B or B2C. And customers are demanding transparency as to why their data is being collected and where it's being used. And so people today are more aware of the risks that come with sharing the data than ever before. And we've seen some serious data leaks over the last few years that have caused a lot of reputational damage for brands. So, you know, all of this to combine together, it's really important to protect your customers' data and privacy. So why is this a marketing trend? Well, two reasons. One, your marketing should be reassuring customers now more than ever. So in all your communications, you should be saying that we protect your data, we don't spam and making customers feel comfortable. And number two is you need to be ready to manage you know, any communications that need to go out if, God forbid, something problematic was to occur. If you have a data breach, you have to be ready with your marketing to be able to respond. So if you are collecting data, which you should be, then it's important to make sure that your marketing is reassuring customers, protecting your reputation and is ready should a breach occur. So marketing trend number seven, businesses are expected to adopt a mobile first approach. This should come as no surprise. Did you know that the average Australian will check their phone around every eight minutes? which is approximately 7.8 times now. I mean, look, I personally probably check it even more than that. So, and I'm sure that many people listening will probably be nodding their heads right now in agreement. So people are using their mobile phones for everything now, purchasing, researching, navigating, it doesn't matter. So having a mobile first approach is absolutely essential for your website and all other forms of your marketing. So when you're producing your marketing, make sure that you are looking at mobile, but also, 
looking at when it comes to say copywriting, that you're also looking at UX design copywriting. What that is, is the user experience is taken into account. So that's something we do at Melotti Media is we take user experience into account. We don't just write words, we write flow. We make sure that it's visually appealing. We make sure that the way that it's presented on a page is also visually appealing, not just the content itself. So you know, with a customer centric mobile design, well-written messages and effectively positioned call to actions, we can help you lead your audiences to where they need to be. Marketing trend number eight, experiential marketing is starting to boom again. Okay, so what that means is it, from the word experience, experiential marketing, as people are now getting leaving the COVID-19 pandemic behind, people are starting to get out and about today. And that is where marketing is starting to thrive again. So I'm talking about like events and exhibits and AR, VR platforms and um, trade shows, webinars, installations, product rollouts, all of those kind of, you know, in retail presentations. This kind of marketing is booming at the moment and it allows you to deliver real life brand experiences to customers so you'll remain memorable. So in a world of digital, where digital saturation is very prominent today, it's important to also balance your marketing out with, you know, point of sale materials and and that marketing that leads to an experience. So think about this year, think what can I do over the next 12 months to include something of the experience side of marketing into it, you know, where there's a tangibility, you know, that you're putting an event on or something that's in person. People love that balance. And especially after the last few years of being digital, you know, nomads, it's really important that we bring that real tangible side back. And it leaves a lasting impression. So it's really good. Being with strong connections with your audience, etc. Trend marketing trend number nine. The future of marketing is going to experience a rise of NFTs, which is the non-fungible tokens. So it's bringing a whole new level of innovation to the world of marketing. It, what it is, is it's, it's basically backed by the technology of blockchain. And so NFTs are basically protecting a lot of digital assets that can be collected, sold and traded by your customers. So while, you know, I don't know if this is a viable option for all industries and marketers right now, but it is worth paying attention to if you're a marketer. Like for example, with NFTs, you'll be able to track and secure where your digital marketing materials are being distributed. So you can optimize NFTs in your marketing campaigns to capture attention and engage more people, giving them a unique way to experience your brand and consume the de- digital assets that you're building. So as I said, while these NFTs uh, sound all promising, they also can be quite intimidating for your typical customers. So it's important that you acknowledge that this is a rise and a trend and that you work out how best to adapt this into your marketing. So blockchain, you know, NFTs, all of that isn't going away. It's going to be around for a long, long time. So it's important to investigate this and acknowledge it because a lot of these innovative platforms and technologies are really exciting for your customers and your customers are often adopting them before you do. So think about these when it comes to your marketing. Number 10, account-based marketing, sometimes abbreviated to ABM, is putting more sales and marketing teams on the same page. So ABM is basically the marketing technique that aligns sales and marketing teams to work more closely together and create more tailored campaigns for large key accounts. So it's a bit more of a practice. It is still a trend and it's a bit more of a rising thing. I mean, most smart businesses today see that marketing and sales are heavily integrated and highly aligned together. You know, it, marketing departments and sales departments shouldn't be separate. They should be very close together. And this is this trend here, but it's becoming more prominent than ever. And it's being called account-based marketing. So here, the sales team, for example, identifies high value clients that they want to target. The marketing team will then use that information provided by the sales department to craft personalized brand messaging and content that targets those particular leads. Then it draws them into the sales team who then start talking to them and then marketing collateral will be used to help sell them and convert them and so forth. So it's a really interesting marketing strategy and it basically enables your marketing team to focus on capturing big accounts that your sales team deem more profitable in the long run. So it's it's a really important trend that marketing and sales is more and more closely aligned because they shouldn't be separate. They should interweave into, into each other. So like my example said, it's 
Sales provides the information, marketing sends the, the content out and so forth. Marketing trend number 11, strategic marketing transformation has become crucial to marketing and overall business success. So to manage the ever-changing market and evolving expectations of your customers, your business's marketing should also be evolving, of course. So strategic marketing transformation allows you to reinvent your marketing department so you can align your processes, systems, strategies, campaigns, and people to the current overall goals of your business. So by what this means is by undergoing strategic marketing transformation, we are rethinking how our marketing departments work. And basically it's taking a strategic marketing plan as the overarching goal that gives everyone clear directions on what marketing tactics initiatives to implement and who will be involved in making them happen. By undergoing this strategic marketing transformation, you will be able to establish your marketing's vision and mission, operating model, people structure, and so on, that can then help you transform your business into what you wanna be. So basically what we're trying to say with this trend is that we're seeing in the market now that businesses are becoming more marketing led than ever before. And what I mean by that is, we're starting to see that businesses are recognizing that marketing is so important because every single touch point is marketing. You know, when your accounts team speak to and chase up invoices from creditors, that is marketing, you know, because the way that they speak to them is going to reflect on your brand. So what we're trying to say with this trend is that it's all about thinking holistically with your marketing. You're not a department that's doing ads. You have to think your whole business, everything you do is marketing. Your branding, your collateral, the way that your customers get talked to, all of that is everything is making an impression and that is marketing. So it's important that you put your marketing plan first and think of it as a business-wide exercise, not just a marketing department exercise. And last but not least, number 12 is Google launched a new search algorithm recently Um, and it really is focusing on high quality content and and like never before. We've always said content is king, but Google is certainly pursuing that and reinforcing that. So 95% of Australian search engine traffic comes from Google. So it's really important as marketers to keep that, you know, the, the algorithm in your mind, you know, as much as you can when you're pursuing your marketing techniques and marketing initiatives. And when Google launches an algorithm update, so 95% of Australian search engine traffic comes from Google. As such, it's important that you keep in mind that new search algorithm updates from Google starting to highly prioritize displaying really high quality, credible and informative content on search engine results. So it's starting to reject unoriginal, unappealing and shallow content. So even content that is being produced by AI bots is starting to get rejected because it's very bland, unoriginal and unappealing. So to ensure that your content ranks higher and is continuously discoverable for your audience, it's important that you look at the latest SEO practices when creating content and producing a lot of high quality content. So it's not enough to just produce basic information now, you need to be looking at producing really high quality content that is really highly researched and provides lots of value to a particular kind of customer. So of course, at Melody Media, that's exactly what we do with our copywriting services. We make sure that everything is original and high quality so that you do get ranked. Okay, because the most important thing is to always be publishing content that addresses audience questions and provides solutions to their concerns. So that's the most important thing is continuing to produce content and written content that Google can keep displaying to the people who matter. So now that you're aware of these current marketing trends, it's important that you act. And if you need to act, you can contact us at Maloney Media. If any of these trends inspired you, or hopefully all 12 of them did, then contact us at Maloney Media. You can visit our website at maloneymedia.com.au or you can email us at enquire, E-N-Q-U-I-R-E, at maloneymedia.com.au and ask us about what you want to do this year. You know, how do you want to access the most out of your marketing and what strategies do you want to put in place? We can help you with content production and more so that you've got a good plan and a good execution to get the results that your business deserves. So thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Message Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Melody from Melody Media, and uh, please join me in the next episode.